three-story tall mansion. All right, here we go. Ghost tour is here too. Hey, those windows are crazy. I'm like, I don't know if it's because they're right back in Texas. Oh, so you didn't get to get right This is a dream house to me, just seeing the ceilings on up. And soon I'll be in North Carolina. Did you know that? This is considered, this is middle, considered class. middle class. Middle class? Yeah. Even upper middle class. Yeah. Like the early 1889. Look at the so, ceilings. So, uh, yeah, this is called Millionaire's Row. Millionaire's Row? Yeah. Yeah. You can go through? Yeah. Oh, sh I love y'all. Oh yeah, no worries. And it was, um, so yeah, this was actually considered upper middle class. So the big mansions would have been like on the edges of the streets, like mm -hmm. where Broadway now is and stuff. So yeah, it's definitely, um, I wish this was my house. <laughs> I know. Uh, me and kids are actually looking at houses like this in North Carolina. She we were just talking about it. She just moved from I South Carolina. Moved from South Carolina. So I was going to class. It's all from that time period. So um, they tried to preserve as much as they can. That's why we had to put the bars in there. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah, so why it's called the Marijuana Mansion is because Amendment 64 was written and drafted in here. So, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so it does have it for a reason. Oh, it was written drafted in here? Yep, yep. it was a law office back then. Look at that chandelier. Yeah. Oh, I know. But yeah, so it was a law office and they did the Marijuana Coalition was here and that's why it's called the Man Marijuana. Oh, man. Owner, Mr. Cresswell. Oh, and wow. He, yeah, he supposedly impregnated his servant girl, and then they were, she had the baby, and supposedly they were Satan worshippers, so they sacrificed her to the temple. Oh, wow. No. So she hung herself. So, wait, so who yeah. was doing Satan worshiping here? So, Mr. Cresswell. So, he, he was. He's he was, The legend has it that he was a Satan worshiper, because there's actually a devil on the outside. Of the, right. building. Um, from the building, and that is not common. At they all say the that that devil was supposed to be the real face of what the devil really? looks like, right? That's it's, what they say, right? Yeah, because they don't know why. Why it would have been. Well, oh he's wow, now 60s green room, so it's not very. Doesn't look very scary. No, but, well, um, it looks very nice. Oh, yeah. When they were doing construction, this door, kept, they kept the construction workers kept hearing banging on the door, and then they'd open it, and nobody'd be there. So. Even though this is one of the least scary, like theme wise, it's mm -hmm. actually the most haunted. You're hearing tapping on the doors, yeah. Pretty live. It's really crazy. Yeah, that is so nuts. I love how this whole house is set up, though. The wood yeah. paneling going up the stairway always it's catches really my cool. eye. So, the artist that did this mural, she did this late at night. Oh. And she said she would hear people going oh, up and down the stairs. That's number one. So everybody has. Oh, what? Oh, I know. <laughs> Instagram one. Everybody, everybody's on that chair. That's so cool. Go stand in there, babe. But I got some good stuff on here. Go stand in there. What? It's the pot tub time machine. Oh my gosh, look at you. That's so cool. Oh, that's Rocking so room? Cool. Yeah. Oh. Hey, you tell her about that crazy hoodoo house we just explored that was abandoned. This is like all this stuff. Like you can feel the energy. My mom. Is like, yeah. Dude, this is so crazy. Oh man. Marijuana Mansion. Wow. This was painted by somebody employing care. Oh, really? Yeah, they did a different um, straightening. And he actually drove it to the mountain. Yeah, a lot of people do that here. That's really cool. Yeah, that is so crazy. I just think with here, it's you know, I think a lot of the um, the locals are kind of like, yeah, they don't, they wouldn't think that this would be something we'd want to go see. But it's really cool, just for anybody. no, it's anybody. awesome. Yeah, it's, it's not amazing. just tourists, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, the Marijuana Mansion.
<laughs> this was such a treat. We got to walk through and see the whole thing. Harry Potter closet. <laughs> right? Yeah, I think that's what he's talking about. This might be the, um... But my favorite by far is this ceiling. Look at that. I don't know why we're doing that. All right. Yo, everyone, thank you for riding along with us with the Exploring Project Bad and Unknown Ventures at the Marijuana Mansion, okay? And like, it's not just a marijuana mansion, like everything's thrown up for marijuana, like a lot of laws got passed through here and a lot of history with marijuana has came through here. The place is super awesome and I'm gonna dip out now. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, hit that subscribe button, Project Bad. All right, y'all, so the rumor is there's a demon face and it's right there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is a demon face. Golly. Man. Can't beat it. All right, we're going to continue this Colorado road trip. Project Bad and Unknown Ventures about the split ways. So. Make sure you follow along. How come y'all ruin all my stuff? <laughs> because you're not leaving without taking a picture of Satan's I head. I did. Okay, I'm watching you. I'm just making sure.